Oh, whoops, I accidentally opened the, uh, the patio door. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I think things are better now. Here you go. Yeah, come in. Excited for nothing. Okay. Um. Yeah, things are looking better. Like, yeah, the. Oh no, yeah, the butt cr the butt crack is back. Um. I don't know what that's gonna mean. Uh. Maybe that's something with the. Uh, the upload from OBS. Meanwhile, I'm still stuck in this hell trying to get this last fucking achievement. I don't know what to do about- okay, wait, I'm gonna- I'm gonna make a save state. And if I need to load state, I will. Cause I wanna, like, practice that one specific part where the missiles come out, cause that's- that's the only thing I don't get. I heard that. There's just occasional farts in the background. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, Neo Antoine, thank you for the raid. Uh, it's been a a weird a weird night because I've been dropping lots of frames. Uh, it's been on and off. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. Oh, shit, hold on a sec. My microphone's like all the way back here. There we go. I was about ready to call it for the night. Okay, this is the part I want to practice. I don't know how to do that. I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. I'm, I'm always dying there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna mute this. The final Chivo is finish a stage without moving left or right, which is the dumbest fucking thing. Because that... That missile launcher, those three missile launchers, fuck everything up. Uh, where's... It's gonna turn Chivos off. Yeah, but you can't do it on stage two. Because there's an enemy that comes out specifically from the left edge of the screen. Is there any way to do this? Is that all I had to do? Just mash? I didn't need to jump? I was jumping for nothing? Let me see if the, the boss rat actually works. It's, it's doable. It's doable.
Let's finish this shit off. And I was gonna say, then never play this game again, but man. It does feel kind of cheap that I didn't get the ending. But do I really care to try again? I'm not sure I do. At least not at this moment in time. Man, I didn't have to jump, I just had to stay still. I can't believe that. <laughs> Overcomplicating things again, as I tend to do. Go figure. Alright, OBS still looking good, haven't dropped a frame yet. I mashed! gonna be red. If it wasn't for these fucking missile silos, this would be fucking free. It is literally the hardest part. I just gotta wait and mash like crazy, I guess. I'm so tired of this stage. it out all at once. Okay. Like that. It's all a timing thing. Alright, here we go. One. Through the missiles. You son of a bitch. Give me that twin shot. Alright, so I won't have the extra firepower for the boss, but maybe I can do it. It didn't say no dying. I hate that there's no tell before the big missile. Yes. It's over! Two hours and 16 minutes, although it wasn't really that because of all the... all the fucking pauses <laughs> and stream drops. But I didn't actually finish the game. That part I kind of regret. That part... Oop. Need to pause that window. There we go. Did 
Did I minimize the thing again? I did. Well, hot damn! That was a that was a bigger pain in the ass than I expected it to be. Did it freeze up again? Cool. The continue screen is just all kinds of fucked up. <laughs> it's got an invisible timer on it. It sometimes freezes if you haven't pushed an input before you die. I guess. I don't get it. All right, well. Uh, what else did I want to do tonight? Can I even still do a stream? <laughs> uh, let's see here. can try NAS Cabal. I already, I already did the, uh, the arcade version. RetroArt crashed. How dare you switch games? Do I have the right version? 55! That's a lot. Okay. How did I get... How am I at the bottom? There we go. Port 1... Oh, I want A. Thank you. Oh, there's no sound. Did I accidentally mute it? There's no sound on the title screen? There we go. Okay, let me check the... Yeah, it looks pretty good. Audio wise. Okay, what are what are my controls? Let me just check. Oh, what okay. So B button makes you makes you run fast. And diagonal makes you, uh... Wait. Okay, so it's up left and up right for the, for the big roll. Down left or down right for the, for the other one. There's like weird, almost analog feel to it. What if I could remap this? Hold on a sec, let me try something. Um Yeah, turn that shit off. Um wait, I'll just map both of these to B. What? You looked up you can play as a helicopter or a jeep in both arcade and any cell form. Okay, my... this button isn't working. What if I just map everything to, uh... <laughs> to B? Maybe that'll work? I feel like it would be better to put it on the triggers. Um, these buttons are not, are not matching what's on my pad. Okay, I, 
what what button number is this? I've mapped like everything but that. Hold on, let me check something. manager No, not device manager. Hold on. I need to figure out what button my right trigger or right shoulder button is. Devices and printers. Troubleshoot. Not troubleshoot. Game controller settings. Button 6. I map button 6. Wait, is it something else? Hold on a sec. If that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, 7, 8. Yeah, you think one of those would be uh would be it. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to like go back. Spot rub end. I need to go back to the main control thing. Input. No, not input. Time to get lost in RetroArch menus. Fuck, I found this last time. Now I don't know where it is. Is it input? Yeah, it's input. Port 1 controls. Okay, R button... Button 5. Alright, let's, let's remap all this shit. So button 0... Button... Button 1. Button 2. Button 3. Whatever. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm almost there. So I need button five to be to be B. Yeah. And then map button zero to A. All right, I think we're good. Uh, meanwhile, what are the achievements for this? These, uh, <laughs> the RVC Swamp of Stank. Uh, these are certainly some Chivo names. So there's one for finishing every stage, and then one for doing every stage deathless. And... Roll 30 times one stage without dying. Get through a stage without rolling. Have at least 50 grenades. Kill 200 enemies without getting game over. Kill 500 enemies without getting game over. Score 50,000 points. One, two, two, three. Cabal God! Beat the game without using a continue. All right, doesn't seem too bad. But then again, I don't know, NES port might be kind of janky. Uh, am I not supposed to use quickness? I just fucking, I loaded that up. Wait, wait, how do I? Is it, wait. Oh, it's, wait, how do you fire grenades? Is it up and, up and B? Controls are fucked. Okay, yeah, this does feel kind of bad. How? Wait, how do you throw grenades? 
Hold on. No, I'm pretty sure I was only hitting... Well, wait. To fire your assault rifle, press and hold button A and use the control pad to aim the crosshair. To launch, to launch your grenades, use the control pad to aim the crosshair and tap button A. Okay, you tap it. Gotcha. Okay, close that. Am I not supposed to be using quick nets? People get really defensive about what cores I'm supposed to use for some reason. It seemed, it seemed functional to me. Oh god, this... It's like the crosshair is like trying to emulate the whole trackball feel of the game. So they just make it feel like utter shit. <laughs> Quite the same. It feels like the enemy quota goes up a lot faster. Come on, somebody give me a give me a gun. Wait, I tried to... oh. I tried to roll. Reset. Wow, this is gonna be tough to do Deathless. I can't get over how... how bad the, the crosshair feels. <laughs> Why did they do that? Also, the grenade pickups give you, like, four grenades. It's not one grenade. That's pretty... generous. for clearing the stage without rolling. Difficult? What what difficulty setting? Oh god! Fucking ah Okay, I gotta at least get past one two without dying. This might be uh, this might be tougher than I expected just because it feels it controls like shit. <laughs> I gotta get da, 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 da. I gotta get used to uh, uh, the roll controls, I guess. I think the problem is I'm trying to like use the B button normally to to roll. You have to either hold up left or up right or down left or down right to roll. Along with the B button. I shouldn't have done that. I'll get used to it eventually, I guess. Shit! <laughs> I can't get past one, two. Without dying. This doesn't bode well. This is released by Milton Bradley. James Avery did the, the voiceover in the commercial.
Why did they make the crosshair feel like this? They're trying to, like, simulate the trackball, but why? <laughs> why would you do that? What a terrible idea. Night of underwhelming soundtracks. I don't know, it's not like there's there's that much to Marble Madness. Although it's not the same without a trackball, I guess. Oh god. Alright, we gotta get good at that roll. I gotta focus, like, entirely on dodging. You can't kill us, dude. There we go. Woo! <laughs> okay, rolling's pretty good. If you can actually do it. Why did they make the crosshair feel like this? I can't get over how bad this feels. Maybe I should be playing this on stick. Gate mate. Good one. Wow, that planes are way faster. Jesus, you have no time to shoot them. Of course, I'm curious if this version actually uh, lets you get extra lives. The scoring system's completely different. So I don't know what the, the score threshold intervals are. You just can't kill those planes, they're too fast. Like, they were tough to shoot in the arcade, but you could do it. It was at least possible. Whoa. This thing doesn't even fire them diagonally. Way easier. This music's completely different. Helicopter smellicopter. I, I notice a trend here. Oh, I did get an extra life. Okay, so you do get extra lives. Might be possible to one CC this after all. Oh geez, the the flicker here is pretty bad. <laughs> oh, this this game was not a good idea for the NES. I tried to... Uh, maybe I should be playing this on stick. I think this would be easier. I don't know what that was for. Okay, let's, let's try stick. 
I have to unplug this. I don't have a start button mapped. Okay, so button one should be B. If I'm doing it like that. Uh, I don't have a Okay, I'm just gonna map that to start, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay, this, this is a bad time to try to learn a new control scheme. Alright. Okay, I think I can... I think I can do it like this. I'll just have to come back and do the stage deathless, I guess. Why did they make the crosshair feel like this? It's so bad. Hold on, how many, how many, I'm gonna update the thing. How many Chivos am I at? I'll update it every now and then, since I can't do live updates. I'm already at 34? Is that right? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm looking at Cabal Arcade. <laughs> I'm gonna say, that can't be right. 13 out of 55, okay. All right. Now we're in business. A lot of these enemies are, like, way too close to you, too. I guess because of the, the NES's smaller resolution. It's the, uh, the pie-ass problem with enemies that are just right next to you. You have, like, no time to dodge. Hot sand, hot, 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 hot. Not sure if I want to play an NES port of high ass. If I couldn't handle this. <laughs> if you don't have digitized voices for the intro, then what's the point? Line them up! Grenades suck. I love Blood Brothers. Blood Brothers is like one of the best crosshair shooters. Yeah. I did not complete the set of Chivos for Blood Brothers because one of them was is like nearly impossible. You had to like pick up the you had to pick up one of the guns and kill like 90 enemies or something before time before the time expires on it and that's fucking impossible. I have no idea how to get it. Okay. 
Oh god. Okay, this boss is a lot harder. Oh god. It's so choppy. Submarines. Poofed. I have to hit start. <laughs> For some reason, I have to hit start on those screens. Not sure why. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know what that pause was about. Thing. Well, so much for deathless on that stage. This is not possible to shoot the the plane. I keep trying. I think they're invincible. Even with the the gun. Get as many deathless stages as I can. Huh? I didn't even see the bullet. Because they're like right in your face. You have like no time to, to dodge. Smaller resolution of the NES was not a not a good fit for this. Right out on three one and three two. You just missed the submarine. The submarine was the 2-4 boss. Did you know they've never given away a submarine a surprise on the Price is Right? Either the Bob Barker or the Drew Carey version? Want to stay on the side, huh? Fuck! God, there's no time to react to this. This is way harder than the arcade version. Don't think I'm gonna want to see this. More cranes, more pains. Yeah, I've died on 3-1, three, 3-2, three, and 3-3. Three, three. So that's like a lot of deathless stuff I haven't gotten. I guess I'm getting grenades back. At least they give you more grenade pickups. Each grenade being worth four is... Am I tripping? Didn't the bullet go to the left? Didn't the bullet go around me? Why did I die there? Did it graze me and keep going? Is that a thing that happens in this port?
He didn't fire two bullets. I'm pretty sure. Man, this sucks. I don't even want to continue. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is way harder than the arcade because everybody's everybody's right in your face and you have no time to react. Like you just gotta you gotta roll immediately. But and if you wanna shoot anybody, your crosshair is fucking drunk. Spa rub end. Damn, this is tough. At least on the first stage, the enemies are, like, farther back, but even then... Even then, you don't really get much time to react to the bullets. The way they, they counteract that is giving you these cover to hide behind. To hide the fact that you're not going to have any time to react to these shots later. They didn't want to... They didn't want to kill you too bad on stage one. Tap the button because that throws grenades. Also, yeah, the crosshair moves faster when you hold down the B button. But you can't fire. I didn't. Not want to roll. That was accident. Oh, this is this this is dire. The grenade didn't even explode. Where'd it go? Okay, can I can I farm stuff out of a bush? Is that a thing in this game? James Avery would not endorse an inferior product. Mm. I want to believe that. Fuck! I, di I have died on 1-2 so many times. Always do the the big roll. Small rolls garbage. Like I can I can deal with the the way the roll works and the, the grenade tapping the button for the grenade. It's it's kind of weird, but okay. You've only got you've only got two buttons. You got to work in the roll somehow. So having the separate button to like move faster and roll. Okay, that's understandable. I can I can deal with that. What I can't deal with is how, why they wanted to like emulate the feel of the cursor being a trackball. 
so it does not move. <laughs> it does not move how you would expect it to move in every other joystick or pad-based crosshair shooter. Like you could play, you could play the Punisher on the NES, and the crosshair makes more, way more sense. I looked at the achievement list for for the Punisher, and it uh, it doesn't look good. I mean, NES Punisher isn't a great game, but kind of have a soft spot for it. Just because it's a crosshair shooter. But it's very slow. Kind of dull. I think it might have been one of those things that had, like, damageless chivos for the bosses and stuff. Those are always fun, right? Right? No? Smash TV, the D-pad moving the character, and other pad moving directional shot. I can, I can deal with that. Dual fisted control scheme. I can do that. I keep getting baited by the planes. You can't kill them. fucking see it! Enemies are just way too close. You don't have time to even see the bullet. God, that's annoying. Boy, you sure did get a lot of points on bosses, huh? blow up, it just disappears. I didn't see that guy. Okay, maybe hanging out in the corners is not a good idea. Seems like the safest place to be. Also, I'm not sure, but it looks like uh, it looks like everything is only worth one point on the enemy meter. Like, even, even the tanks and helicopters are only worth one point. They're worth, like, two or three in the arcade version. He was dead. I did... These guys are, like, right in your face. There's no time to get out of the way. This 
fucking hard as shit. <laughs> it's only hard because of the, the limitations of the NES. Why am I not allowed to kill plane? Good thing I already did that stage, Deathless. Uh, where is the hitbox in this tank? It's only the bottom half? Serious hitboxes. These vehicles are so hard to shoot. And they take a lot of hits. Wait, how is that not hitting the tank? Come on. I almost ran into that. Uh, you don't even get a chance to drop the uh, the items when the stage is over. Everything just disappears into the void. I have to preemptively roll. Enemies are right in my face. What am I supposed to do? Okay, luckily I already did this, this stage deathless somehow. Maybe I gotta do more tiny rolls. Oh, nice. I got the gun for the boss. Good timing. Wow! And I'm dropping frames. Great. Here we go again. I did this I did this bot deathless last time, right? How did I do that? Okay, I guess grenades aren't really great. Okay, just hang out in the corner. Dropping. It's weird, the fart tracker isn't showing that many hiccups, but I just dropped like 800 frames. And there it goes again. Maybe now's a good time to update the achievement progress. 27, not bad. Uh, yeah, I'm dropping frames. Like, there's not many farts on the tracker, but um, LBS says I'm dropping a lot. Every now and then I'm dropping like another, another 40 here, another 40 there. Tonight's just not a good night for streaming, I think. It's just one of those nights where Comcast decides I'm not allowed to stream.
Okay, hold on a sec. Let me try something. Lower the bitrate a bit. I don't think that's really going to make a difference, but... All right. We'll keep an eye on things. Hey, opponent, thank you for the raid. I'm having some internet hic hiccups at the moment, but I'm hoping it's cleared up. Also, NES Cabal fucking sucks. <laughs> This is rough. Corner strats seem pretty good, though. I guess that's how you have to play this game. Seems like a tough game to 1cc. Yeah, is it smart to just, like, do this? Because nobody else can shoot over here? Unless I get- unless I actually make it over there. I guess it's a problem if they have grenades. I guess just come back here every now and then to shoot that guy and then shoot other dudes. Oh, well, still better than Gamshara. Why are the hitboxes on these tanks so weird? They're tanks. Why are the why is the hitbox so tiny? I guess you mainly only have to worry about enemies that are, like, right in front of you. Since at the very least, like, their shots don't have, like, steep angles. They just... They just fire at you with, like, no time to dodge out of the way. If they're, like, right in front of you. I can't shoot that guy! God damn it! Ah! Fucking fake trackball. God, why did they do this with the control? It's so bad. Stay in the corner and shoot anybody who gets, gets over here. Oh, God. These bullets just speed up. All right, back over here, then. Leave my garbage cans alone. Okay. Uh, 
our boss. Wow, look at that frame rate. Uh, am I not... I'm not doing any damage to it. Why does this have so much health? So I don't think you get uh, extra lives from points. It feels like you get an extra life every time you clear a stage. Because otherwise, like, this is... This is a lot of points. I don't think this game took place in 1950. Wow, this looks like shit. Yeah, you get an extra life when you clear a stage. Okay, so that's how it works. So you- Ah! No time to dodge. So you start with five lives, extra after each stage. That's a total of nine. That was a quick grenade toss, what the fuck? Okay. What? Yeah, they got some, some fake scaling going on, that's pretty cool. They tried, yeah. Yeah, just ignore all the- oh! Oh, I died. Uh, yeah, how did they let that cross slip through? We're gonna destroy it. Can't have that in our NES game. Chivos are gonna be tough. Oh, you get to keep your grenades on continue. That's nice. I couldn't even see that plane. Gotta do corner strats in this game. It's it's suicide to be out in the middle. What? I don't know who killed me there. It's weird because when you get shot by a bullet, the bullet doesn't stop. Uh, 
Okay, left side maybe. I gotta figure out which corner you need to hide in on each stage. What boss is this? At least the turrets that come out of the ground? Be some turrets. Uh, they have a lot of health. What the fuck? Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. That was that was way kick way kicker way quicker than the truck boss. Also way kicker. You misspelled shielded, dude. Oh, you can just hold the button down, and you keep rolling. Cool. Well, I'm in trouble now. Yep! <laughs> yep! Just fucking get sniped in, like, ten frames. I just have to, like, permanently shoot there. I can't allow that guy to get out of the rock. I see how it is. Just figure out where enemies spawn and then just keep a crosshair there. And as long as you're in the corner, like, the planes never hit you. Buildings made of cheese? The fuck are you talking about? I have all these grenades I'm not using because the grenades kind of suck. I should use them before the last stage, huh? Or I just use them on the last boss, whatever. Can I get the 5-4 Deathless? Probably not. This is the last stage. Uh, 
I'm just gonna keep the crosshair right here. Never mind. Never mind. I'm in trouble now. Time to start using grenades. The gray dudes are even harder to kill in this game. Ah. Ooh, nice, okay. Alright, I'm just gonna throw grenades like crazy. Do I gotta kill these? I thought I just had to shoot the main thing. Am I actually safe here? Oh, there's more. Okay, this is completely different from the arcade, because I don't think you had to destroy the the sub-bases. You just had to shoot the main thing. Like, you could shoot these, if you wanted to. So stupid. <laughs> so stupid. No, I almost did that deathless. Okay, well that was a two CC. Now that I know how good the corner is. Oh, they actually spelled headquarters right. They fixed the typo from the arcade version. He actually didn't have a face in the arcade version either. Damn, I'm up to 45 out of 55? Not bad. It's all the deathless stuff now, right? Mostly. Alright, this is... I guess this is doable. I understand the tech now, it's just... Um... Getting deathless on every stage is gonna be stupid without a, uh, like, a level select. Which was 3-3, three, 4-1, three, four, 4-2, four, 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four. <laughs> just fucking every stage after that. Not 5-2 or 5-3, I guess. Okay, so roll 30 times in one stage. Wait, 200,000 points? I didn't even... If you add up those two scores, that's like 185,000. That's not even 200,000. How do you get 200,000? I guess I gotta shoot more stuff in the background. Okay. Yeah, you get like nine lives to- Yeah, okay, you get a, a lot of points for like shooting background stuff. And I, I, like, wasn't even bothering on a lot of those stages because I was just doing corner strats. Alright, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be a little tricky, I think. But that means I do have to be very thorough about shooting stuff.
Also, yeah, I guess since soldiers and tanks are worth like the same amount of points, you would have to wait and kill tanks. Although I, I don't think I can do that now because there's sort of, like too much stuff on the screen. Also, I was gonna say in the arcade version, if you die on a boss, uh, they get their health back. You have to do the whole fight in one life. That doesn't seem to happen here. Get that. I never got it. Also, I suppose... Yeah, you get points for shooting your own, like, shields. Your own walls. Which is kind of suicidal, but... Dude was off the screen. All right, reset. Oh yeah, the roll chivo. That would be a good place to do it, huh? Yeah, if you shoot, if you shoot your own cover, that gives you the the star, which is worth 500 points. But there can only be one star on screen at a time. <laughs> now, now I'm trying to like point press. I mean, you might as well point press at the beginning, right? Oh, if there's a grenade. You Man, you can only have one item on screen at a time, too? Christ. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, stage one! Stage one. I want to shoot that tank, man. Oops. God, this is this is stressful. Hard to do corner stress on stage one. I really got a point press on later stages. I, I hope I can just like build up a build up a decent score buffer for the end. Whew. Where did that bullet go? And you gotta stagger the destruction of everything since there can only be one item on screen at a time. Man. I 
Also, I gotta start getting grenades, huh? That's a lot of bullets! Oh god. Oh god. These fucking gray guys! If I could fucking kill them with a grenade! My god! Ah. I want to restart, but eh. Maybe I can recover. I am not able to, like, shoot those grenades out of the air <laughs> with this fucking fake trackball. Points off that? No! Okay, I can't I can't die twice. The one CC and two hundred thousand are like mutually exclusive. This is This is twisted. This is a game for sickos. <sighs> I, I, I wish there was like a little more leniency before the bullet makes contact with your body. They, they don't give you much time to get out of the way. Enemies are always so, so close because the, the NES is, you know, running at a smaller resolution than the arcade game, so we gotta put things closer together. Fuck that up. Give me that gun. Did I even get it? I don't think I got it. I mean, 20 stages, if you're averaging 10,000 per stage, you're set. And some boss stages give you a shitload of points. So it's not even like 10,000 per stage, because there's also bosses. Yeah, I'm hitting them with the Fortnite dance. I'm gonna do the gritty on them. Points for destroying the Jeep.
Uh oh. Mm -mm. These gray guys do way too much dodging. There we go. And then you don't even get to like murder the the nurses or the the doctors after to commit war crimes. No war crimes on the NES, I guess. That's too far. How the fuck am I supposed to deal with any of this shit? If they're winding up for the grenade toss, they should not be able to dodge cancel. That's a balk. Renegus to advance. Shoot those fucking pot. Why does uh, every vehicle takes way too much damage? And the planes are invincible. Okay, good. I got the, got the gun for the boss. Wait, what? Didn't look like I was hitting it there. But I was still getting points. Oh, the score's still going up. Alright, that's a good stage one score. Alright, start button. <laughs> and back to corner town. I still gotta, like, be trying to get some points. No, I rolled. I rolled. I was holding up and button. Shit. The 1cc would be so much easier if I didn't have to worry about score. Maybe I can't get them on the same run. I've already lost two lives. At least the last boss isn't that bad. I could have done that deathless. I'm really mad I couldn't, didn't get that the first try. Could have gotten that out of the way. Wow, surprised that didn't kill me. All 
Alright, one more time. Yeah! Why did I get out of the corner? For sweet grenades. Ow, oh, could've shot that thing up there. Oh, come on! I... I'm so mad about that. <sighs> I was trying to move over there so I could get more points shooting the, the trees in the house. I got a lot of grenades. Way more than I expected to have. No, no, I can't continue this credit. That's too many lives lost. I shot... I shot the wall because I needed points. How are they not hitting me here? Thank you. And yeah, that's that's what's fucking me up. The the bullets they don't stop when they hit you. They keep going, so I keep I keep thinking like I didn't get hit by a bullet. I think I was doing pretty good points wise, I just lost too many lives. That that wall broke really fast. <laughs> like it didn't even look like that bullet hit me. Cause it just kinda keeps going. I don't know. It's weird. I think they could spawn less uh, dickheaded enemies in stage one. I'll let you ease into it, but. Good if I could actually shoot that tank. Oh, 
Okay, that time I got, like, less than 10,000 for that stage. Most of the time I've been, like, at, like, 11,000 or something. Why, though? Ah, big rolls. Okay. Oh god, they destroyed everything. Great. Stage is a problem. Oh, that was like a thousand points. I fucking rolled. Uh, I felt like I could have, I could have done this as a one CC until I realized I needed more points. And now this is just making me play the game in a very stupid way. Score isn't going up when you shoot the background, then it's not something you can destroy. Whoa! Retro Arc, please! Scaring the shit out of me. Shit. <laughs> so much flicker. My who? What? I think you got the wrong dude. Fuck this game. No roll? I, I held down and B, but no roll. I have no idea who Lord Viper Scorpion is. I guess all us lords are supposed to know each other. Oops. 
Okay, now my score is like way higher. I'm already about 10,000. I thought it. Oh my God, if the if the bullet overlaps with your sprite, you're fucking dead. And because enemies are so close to you, the bullets have like no no room to move. They just kill you instantly. What a great game! Great game design. I definitely rolled there. I am stuck in stage one purgatory. I didn't mean to destroy all those things at once. Out of stage one. That one dude was just frozen there. up. It's fine, not a big deal. See, they actually give you, like, a little room here. The enemies are, like, mostly farther back. If the game was more like that... They actually gave you time to dodge stuff, that'd be awesome. But, you know. Okay, so I guess it's better to, like, not shoot the buildings at first. Try to knock out as much of the quota as possible. I rolled. I definitely rolled. stupid. Milton Bradley, I expected better from you. Wait, no I didn't. That did not touch me! That did not touch my body! Destroy all the, the fucking things. Who gives a shit? Steal all the points. It 
It's stage one. Why are there so many enemies on stage one? That's a lot of bullets. For stage damn one. Okay, I probably lost a lot of points there. No, I, I definitely rolled. Yeah, there's like a delay before the roll comes out. Bulls in a row? Okay. I want those grenades. I can't get them though. Good pace. Well, kind of. It is so hard to hit the the jeep with grenades because the hitbox is so shitty. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to shoot that. barely have time to shoot the guys in the keep out thing. They just like... Door closes really fast. No! <sighs> this wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't trying to emulate a trackball. If I could fucking aim at enemies in this game. If I could aim at a single enemy. Now it just says keep. Oh, is that it? Just fucking bomb the door? That's what I was supposed to be doing? Alright. Good to know. I didn't realize. Okay. 
it's still not worth just trying to destroy the helicopters. Tanks you can take. Helicopters, though, forget about it. This pattern is so much easier than the arcade. The arcade, they actually, like, th throws it at angles. Like, diagonal angles. So you're pretty much forced to roll. But, yeah, too hard to program for Milton Bradley. Whoever programmed this. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, our corner stress valid here. And the, the right corner. Probably rare. That looked like it was gonna hit me. Kind of a good stage for points. Just keep healing tanks, that's good points. Okay, what was the next stage? Let's go to the beach. Soundtrack? What soundtrack? Well, it's got boss music, I guess. No, you don't. grenades, that's pretty good. Considering I never fucking use them. Since I suck. It's looking pretty good. Like, I think I'm on good pace, even if I have to, like, spend a lot of the later stages just hiding in the corner. 
I can't believe I dodged that. I can get the gun though. Uh, maybe the left side's better. Ooh, left side's not better. Uh, I did the wrong roll. Could've died. Come on, just three more. Okay. Boss straps for the, uh... Or corner straps for the boss. Wow. Why was I trying to stay in front of it? Why do anything other than hide in the corner in this game? Don't even have to use grenades. Alright, six lives. I've died once. This boss is worth a shitload of points. So I might be on pace. Alright, start button. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Oh, there goes my, my shields. Yeah, you just figure out where enemies come from and just camp in the corner. Exciting game. There's Chivos for no misses on every single stage, and I missed a bunch of those. For individual stages, not the entire game, thankfully. Just one CC. Can't shoot that? Alright. I can shoot those. Duh. Okay. Captain time. Amazing gameplay. I'm not even going for that gun. I don't need it. Gonna hang out here. <laughs> I was gonna go for that star. I fucking paid the price. Greedy. Okay, so this stage I haven't done Deathless. It's got the little icon at the bottom. Same thing. Let's just camp in the corner. Don't don't get baited by anything. It ain't worth it. Jesus Christ.
They always fire in the same spots. Once they walk out a certain distance, they're gonna they're gonna roll. Okay, so I already I already did this stage, Deathless. All I already have left is uh, everything on stage four, and then five one and five four. Okay. Did this stage death also seem kind of nasty? Ugh. Okay, left side. Ooh, that's a good thing to have for the boss. If it lasts, it might last. That box is invincible. Thought I could shoot it. Oh, look at those points. Okay, maybe I don't need to do all that score milking if uh, this boss is that good. But then again, like, that 2cc only added up to 180,000, I think. So what was I missing? Okay, we'll have no problem hitting 200,000. There's no need, no need to do any score milking at this point. Just shoot stuff and you'll get there. It does reset score and continue, yes. side was safer. I should probably grab that grenade. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not getting that. I am going to need to pick up some grenades, though. Yep, right side's the way to go. How did I not do this stage deathless? Because I was trying to shoot the church? Holy dive hole. Whoa, oh, retro arc. Come on. Stay with me now. Across. Okay. 
Okay, 76 grenades, that's pretty good. I'm only getting them if the grenades are, like, right near me. Brick wall, smrick wall. Right side's got to be better here, right? Aha! Alright, don't have to worry about that anymore. All that, uh... All that farming on stage one paid off. Or, on early game paid off. Use any more grenades, huh? All right, let's get the roll achievement. All right, does that have to be the the low roll or the, the big roll? In case I don't have it yet. There we go. Now I know y'all be loving this shit right here, LMP. This skit is right here. One, two, three, times two to the six. Jones, before you fix up the Limp Biscuit mix. All right, what was I missing? Five, one, and five, four. Yep. I should be able to get the one CC. Ooh, I don't know about the right side. I can't make it to the left side, though. There's too much shit going on over there. Okay. Jeez, both sides kind of suck. No, that did not... That did not hit me. That went around me. That did not hit me. All right, well, I guess I'm not mastering this tonight. Maybe I can get 5-4 at least. It's probably better to stay on the right side. Okay, next two stages don't matter, but let's try to have as many lives as possible. Okay, you can shoot the bombs that the, the planes drop. It's just... they're just really fast. But you're still not allowed to destroy the planes. Didn't even hit the shield. I suppose left side was the place to be. have enough grenades. I'm gonna just spam them like crazy on the boss. And 
hope you hope you roll at the right time. This stage is actually easier than 5-2, huh? Like, it's kind of amazing to me that some of the later stages have, like, less enemy patterns. Like, less places the enemies could be. Compared to shit like 1-1 one, one, and 1-3, one, where they're just all over the fucking screen. stage. Let me take that out with the quickness. I know somebody's gonna come out from there. There he is. I got no more shields. There's like four silver dudes running around. I'm just gonna keep fucking throwing grenades and hope they hit stuff. Okay. Alright, should be good. For this phase, anyway. I shoot up. What? That hit me? There were like four bullets there, and then one one other just passed over my head, and that counted as a kill. Well, I got the 1cc, but... I was really hoping to get the Deathless there. So I think literally the only two I don't have are the... 5-1 and 5-4. At least I 1cc'd it, I guess. I mean, in the span of a couple hours, I went from this game is impossible to... Oh, corners. Corners are what you do in this game. Is that top on the leaderboard? Sick. Where is it? Yeah, second place is 240,000. Topped it by 20k. Oh wow, Ferminius broke 200k, the fucking cheater. <laughs> the guy who cheated all the Kaiser Knuckle achievements. Nope, it's, a, it's an NES game without battery backup. Of course, the scores are going to get deleted. Okay, so... How long has this, this set been here? Been here for a while, I guess. Including myself, 21... 21 people broke 200k on Hardcore. 
And only three scores on the leaderboard are over 200,000. Why does everybody disable leaderboards? Let's see, who's... Are there any familiar names here? Oh, Salty D. Yeah, maybe the maybe the leaderboard wasn't in place. No, I got it in 2022. When did the leaderboard get added? Oh, I see. Created August 30th, 2022. Okay, that explains it. Now would explain why so many people have the 200k Chivo but didn't actually put a score on the leaderboard because it has only been in existence for like 10 months. Yeah, the only time I turned off leaderboards is when I was doing those super turbo uh, Chivos because, yeah, <laughs> that was... That was just overboard and I was just I was just playing one stage to get like all the all the old old stuff. Use an old character, win a match or whatever. Unfortunately they're like being forced to uh add more stuff to those sets, like finishing the game with every character, so my my mastery badges are gonna go bye bye. And I really don't want to play through Super Street Fighter 2 sixteen times. That fucking slow piece of shit. And then Super Turbo, you know. You know how, how it is with the AI in that game. So. That'll be fun. Well... I don't really know if I want to try again. <laughs> I want to. I want to finish this off, but mm. I don't know. It's just two more. Like, I was specifically trying to get 5-1 and 5-4, and I died on both of those. <laughs> All right, well... You know what, fine. One more try. I don't have to worry about 1ccs. Or score. I can just fucking play. Just play, get grenades, hide in the corner. Don't get fucked over on the last boss. That's all you gotta do. Nah, no, continue just uh, makes you start on the stage again, or makes you makes you pick up where you left off. I don't even care enough to reset. <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah, 
If I can't get it on this run, I might I might just try to do it offline, off stream. I feel like this is too boring to stream anymore of. <laughs> Man, you can destroy the keep out sign. And then those guys don't do anything. I forgot. Oh, the... The dudes with the stretchers do show up. That's the first time I've seen them. It's a rare SSR drop. I hate that the, uh, the helicopters fire this little tiny shot in addition to the main shot. That's not supposed to happen. so long for that. Uh-oh. Whoa. Thought I was dropping frames. an eye on you, OBS. Well, BizHawk doesn't support the Retro Achievement Tracker, but I guess that's uh, uh, a moot point if the tracker doesn't, doesn't work anymore. I mean, all the shit I had to do to, to get RetroArch running right, it feels like a... It'd feel like a waste to just fucking throw it in the garbage after that. Especially when it does have it does have one thing going for it. It does have one it does have one thing going for it. Or it has a couple things going for it. Even for arcade stuff. One, it supports nine hundred and ninety-nine save states. I guess a thousand save states. Which is really nice for games where I just run out of buttons because I make way too many save states. So it could be good for, for practice things, especially since the, the new version. I was I was on an older version where it, it took like less time or it took more time to like switch between save states, but now it's like really it's really fast. So it's nice in that it gives you all those all those save states to work with. I like that. The other thing, of course, is run ahead. Because there's there's some arcade games in MAME, lots of Namco stuff that uh, that just has way too much input lag, and they're never gonna fix it in MAME. So run ahead, it is. Shit like Splatterhouse and Galaga '88. Rolling Thunder 2, they all have like four frames of input lag. I don't want to deal with that. I want the I want the I want to actually move when I press the press the stick. Wait, you can undo a save state? I didn't know that. That's nice. 
Also, yeah, if I'm not doing... If I'm just doing practice, there's always a... Uh, um... Rewind. Because sometimes it's it's annoying trying to find, like, the right time to pause to make a save state, and like, oh, I died, I gotta load another state. Oh, well, you can just rewind. Yes, the, the input lag thing was annoying me a, a lot. I still haven't done Galaga 88 for, for 1cc BBH. Also, Cosmo Gang the video, that's another one. There's a lot of the, the, those late 80s Namco games are just really laggy. Also, for whatever reason, Mars Matrix on CPS2 is, like, considerably laggier than every CPS2 game. I'm not sure why. Like, I I used Final Burn Neo, uh, the other Final Burn Neo standalone emulator to, like, play that. And it felt a lot better than MAME, that's for sure. safe there? Nice. Man, I can't believe I was trying to fight this boss in the middle of the screen. Well, I died anyway. It's still a lot easier hanging in the corner. That's alright. I just have to... I already got the 1cc. I don't care if I have to use continues, I just need to, to no miss 5-1 and 5-4. That's all I gotta do. That's all, all that's left. Are continues infinite? I don't know. I kind of figure it, it, it probably has limited continues. Silkworm had limited continues. God damn it. <laughs> that I really didn't deserve that. <laughs> Just get to the last boss, die, and it says I beat the last boss. That was great. Okay, those guys can probably shoot around the, the shield. Matter now. Let's go to the left side. Man, I haven't played Super Mario 3 in fucking forever. I actually don't think I've played that game since the 90s. C 
see it all the time in Arcade Pit, though. I have wondered if I should stream that at some point. I don't know if... I don't know for Chivos. I don't know what the Chivos look like. It's a mainstream game, so it's probably stupid as hell. Oh, I'm not... not protected. Probably have a better time playing that than <laughs> than this. I've made some some weird choices tonight. Silkworm and Cabal, man, breaking out the big guns. Top tier gaming. Hey, I like the arcade games. This is not the arcade anymore. Ah, I didn't get the grenade. Uh, which side? I think I wanted the right side. I tried the left and it didn't work. Gotta make sure to kill the guy in the boat. Also, I want to say, like a couple weeks ago, there was a uh, a challenge for this on Arcade Pit. That grenade was off the screen, and the person who played it had never played this in their lives, so. Easier to stay on the right side. I don't know why his boss has so much health. This was the boss you had to milk for score in the arcade version, too. Because he got like. Like, what, 5,000 points each time he shot one of these things? Or destroyed one of these things? So you would just destroy a bunch, get it down to 1 HP, then die. Because when you die in Arcade Cabal, you have to start the fight over on bosses. And just milk the shit out of it. I'm pretty sure I did that on stream. I don't think it was Yo Olympics, it was like Callus Cup or something. I think it was Cowboys Cup. I ever saw the TV ad for this. I didn't see it until YouTube. And I was like, oh shit, that's James Avery. It's Uncle Phil. They don't even make the skull laugh on the title screen. They don't give it a voice. Yeah. 
casualties of porting it to the NES. Damn, that was a quick stage. I need him another grenade or two. I'm not playing for 1cc, but uh, I'm gonna need grenades for the last boss. really unfortunate that this is what the game boils down to. Just just sitting in the corner and shooting dudes because it's too risky to go out in the open. Because you have no time to react to, to their shots. And... The real problem is also the fake trackball control. Because if you run like that, it like takes time to like move back the other way. It's hard to explain. But it's like it's like it overflows if it goes in one direction, and you have to you have to like keep holding it to to get it to go back the other way. Like you went too far. Okay, I didn't know if I was safe there. Well, yeah, it is. They could have just had uh, a digital control, not try to, not try to do a trackball control with a fucking D-pad. Whoa. I mean, a lot of people didn't didn't see the the joystick version of Cabal. I never did. It's like, all right, well, we gotta we gotta use trackball controls, I guess. Except the NES doesn't have a trackball, but we'll try to we'll try to simulate it. But no, you don't have to. You don't have to do it that way. Son of a fuck! had to roll, because the, the helicopters fire a little shot in addition to all the other shots. Which they did not do in the arcade game, by the way. 5-1, man. I thought the left side was uh, the place to be. It seemed way safer than the right side, but if the helicopter shows up, you're fucked. Grenades usually don't take them out. Man, that's like the fourth time I failed on 5 1. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, you want to be on the left side here, huh? Why am I on the right side? Left side's like way better. That's my bad. But it doesn't matter, I already did this deathless.
You can keep rolling, but there's like a little gap in between before the roll comes out. I think. It looks like it should be safe, but I've, I've gotten hit just holding the button down, so... Whenever I roll one way, I'm like, okay, God, roll back the other way. But I still get hit. Maybe that has more recovery. I don't know. Alright, just about full on grenades. Hit the fucking tank. Why is that so hard? Okay. It takes so long for the grenade to get over there. More shields. Right in front of me. Right in front of me. All right, I give up. These fucking silver guys. You shoot them so many fucking times, and they still keep rolling. You throw a grenade, they roll. You gotta hit them like four times, and you have to do it with a stupid slippery crosshair. It's trying to be a trackball. It's gonna be the one time I can do the boss. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of just stared at that bullet. I guess I stopped caring. Felt like I skipped a phase there. Huh. Alright, well, I give up for now. I came close. Oops. Came close. 53 out of 55. Just comes down to 5-1 and 5-4. Like, this... 5-4 of the stage is, is no picnic either, because... There's just so many of those silver enemies just fucking rolling around, throwing grenades, occasionally shooting at you. That's before the boss. But that was, like, the first time I died on the stage. Like, I was having good luck with the stage, and then... I think, like, both times, like, the, the boss hit me with, like, a few hit points left. That was kind of frustrating. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna, like, attempt this off-stream. Just to try to finish off these two. I kind of don't want to... I kind of don't want to stream any more of this. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or just toss it in the toss it in a future runback pile or something. Cause there's definitely there's definitely been a couple games I haven't uh uh kinda tapped out on early.
I don't really, I don't think I've really played NES Cobra Command. I still need to 1cc a loop of the arcade game. I was working on that a while back, and then... I don't know, I just stopped. I guess whenever I play Shmups again, I can try to try to 1cc it again. Come on. I don't know if I want to play a hard game like that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to play a game like that. Oh, well. Man, I didn't even finish Silkworm. <laughs> Technically, I didn't finish it. Man, that was so fucked up. Fucking... That last stage was nuts. I can't believe they only give you two continues. Like, they don't tell you how many continues you have. They don't tell you there's a fucking invisible timer if you don't press a button within five seconds on the continue screen. Why did they do that? Any NES games don't fucking do that. They might have a timer, but they'll at least show it to you. Like, oh, you're not, uh, you're not gonna play the game. Fuck you, buddy. But, uh, but yeah. And also, shame about, uh, uh, about getting Comcast today, but not much I can do about that. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't, uh, doesn't happen again in the next few days. Or it doesn't happen on, on Monday, at least. Yeah, it at least resolved itself a lot faster than it did a couple weeks ago. Like, it was it was just like that for like an hour and a half. Like, it just it would not fucking stop. It was unfortunate. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll be back on, on Sunday. We'll do some arcade chivos. Uh... I don't know what we're going to do. Do what? What do I have left? Man, the list, list is getting tougher and tougher. We'll find some stuff. Uh, I'm going to host Mr. Radon. He's playing Goemon's Great Adventure on the N64. So, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Until next time, I will see you next. Take it easy, everybody. Congratulations, you won. You fight in the We fight again. Bye-bye.